hey, stay tuned to the end of the video because I do have a really important announcement to make, um, something I'm really excited about. Hello, Cheryl here. Uh, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time. Uh, I am going to give an update on where I am in my, I guess, really my last month, pretty much my last month of the Milan Art Mastery Program. We talked a lot about um, how to show your work, so gallery showings, um, how to approach galleries, uh, how to hang your work, suggestions on how to hang your work um, appropriately for uh, like a solo show or if you are involved in a show with other um, artists, the best way to hang your work, um, what level it should be at, so on and so forth. And a lot of that I kind of already knew, but there were a few things that I, that I learned that are, were pretty valuable, so I was happy to to um, to observe that video, and Ellie uh, Ellie and Jake explained a lot, and then uh, how to talk about your work, which is something that I don't know how many of you struggle with that, but I sure do. I I've only done one showing in my life, and it was um, where I had to talk about my work, and it was just at a, a college, the Marx Art Gallery, at the college that I attended for my degree, and um, I, I think I shared before that I had this cactus painting that they really liked and wanted to keep for a year, which was an honor. But that showing, it was, it was just a student gallery showing. Um, we were supposed to be there and kind of talk about our work. And I had no idea how to do that. So artist statements, um, artist bio, uh, all of those kinds of things. And then knowing how to, to talk about your work without really going into too much detail about yourself. Because it's they talked about how to, Ellie and Demetra talked about how to present the art to the potential collector in a way that you're making it their own, you know, learning how to extract from them personal things that help you to connect them to that art piece. That was really valuable. I'm sure it takes a lot of practice, so, whew. but, um, so we also talked about um, ownership, uh, certificate of ownership and certificate of um, sale. That's what they called them. But basically one is when you sell a painting, you want to make sure that they, that you have something written up that it's, it's kind of like you're handing them this, this valuable piece of art. So it's, it's, it gives the amount, the description of the painting, um, so on and so forth. And they have all of that in the textbook. There, there are samples that you can download. Um, and I think online you can probably find a lot of that too. So that's something that I need to work on. Business cards, I need to get business cards together. Um, and then the certificate of ownership is more for prints. You don't need to necessarily, you, you don't need to do that for your original pieces, but for prints. So they shared that and explained how, how to do that. And again, that's downloadable too. Samples that you can use to uh, form your own. So I'm kind of in the midst of working on that. Um, what else? There were a lot of, of uh, very informative videos in, in the lessons for the week. And so uh, I, I, I believe you'll get a lot of value out of that if you're a Milan student right now. Um, also, I will show you right here the result of the poll that I sent out to any subscribers to my channel. They received a message from me about a poll. I wanted to see what kinds of things would you like to see in the future? So when I'm finished with the Milan um, art program, I'll be launching into my full-time art career. 
And part of that will be a YouTube channel. I wanted to kind of see what direction most people would be most interested in seeing it go. So thanks for the poll and here are the results. And as you can see, um, it, it's uh, a variety of responses. It looks like most of you are interested in painting tutorials and um, art business development. So I will try and see what I can do to satisfy that. And thank you so much for participating. Also, we are, like I said, we're ending the near, ending near the end of the program. And so I'm still working on my portfolio and I've stuck with the desert scene for now, the desert wildlife and landscape scenes, themes for now, uh, just because I, um, I just felt kind of the inspiration to continue with that for a bit. So I've, the diptych that I was working on, it's not finished. Things I want to change on it. Um, but I started the oil layer, so now um, I'm just in the process of finishing up some parts and getting the highlights and so on in. And then I also did kind of a, a production, production day, actually, with these four pieces. And I'll show them to you because it's kind of hard to see. They're just in their acrylic layer, and it, it's really just a sketch. I haven't, it's an underpainting sketch with acrylic. I haven't um, started any kind of real detail, just kind of getting them together. Um, this one is um, going to be a desert tortoise. And so that's just the basics. And the background is just acrylic. I, I used um, acrylic paint, and I dropped in alcohol inks, alcoholic acrylic inks, alcohol inks, into the, um, into the paint. So that's what created those round circle effects. I'm not sure how much of the background is going to still be there, but I left them there for now since I'm still just working in acrylics, and that's just the underpainting of that one. And then this cool, uh, we have these white lizards in our area. He's kind of kind of in a, a funky state right now. <laughs> I've got to work on him in his shape a little bit. I did this just from memory. I didn't use, for the tortoise and for him, I didn't really use any kind of reference. Big mistake, as we know. So now I've got to go back in, get a reference, and try to hone in on a little bit better proportions. But anyway, that's him in his acrylic state. And then my desert quails. Again, just in their acrylic state, getting the shapes and the values and so on. They've got really fat legs that I need to work on, but this is just the shaping stage. And then my, my desert burrowing owls, which are all over the area we live in. Um, and again, big fat legs that need to be honed down, but um, acrylic stage of that. And you can see the repeating colors that I tended to use here. Part of that is um, the colors I had on my palette when I started my my production day for the, for the, these four. It would just it was the same color I had on my palette, and I also wanted sort of a tie to this and to this just to give it some cohesiveness, and then I. I have an acrylic Roadrunner painting that's going to go along with this, um, this whole series, I guess you'd call it. Um, so that's where I am on my portfolio. And uh, I'm not sure. I have a couple ideas of some other things that are going to be desert related, but not necessarily with wildlife. So you'll see a change in the next few weeks. As I finish these up, I'm going to start some other pieces that... Um, they're, they're a little bit, a little different. Um, okay, so time for the big announcement. I'm very excited to tell you that my, my painting here, uh, Morning Meetup, was accepted into the show, the Joshua Tree show, and I just thrilled. I didn't really expect it to be accepted. I think I in my mind, I thought, well, I, I think it's good enough. Maybe, I don't know, because I don't know what other artists, I don't know what they're looking for. 
Um, but yes, I was accepted. So yay, I'm so excited. Now will be the test, right? And that was part of the reason too that I continued with the desert theme because I realized if I am there, I have to be there during the opening to meet and greet and talk about my painting. So if I have to do that, I really should have more body of work that kind of goes with this theme. So I wanted to make sure I had a few things that um, were related that would be on my website or whatever. So I'm really, really working hard to get that together so that it's up and running before the September gala. So I don't have much time. Um, and then I also need to get business cards and I need to get my certificates together because it's also a sale. So um, I, I, who knows if somebody's going to want to buy it, but at least I want to have everything together just in case. So, ah, very exciting. Um, you know, and it's, it's just, I'm just starting. So it could be the only thing that happens in the year. <laughs> who knows? But it's still motivating to feel like, wow, okay, well, they wanted to, to have it in their show. So at least I know it's good enough for a local show. And for me, that's, that's a thrill. So yay. <laughs> Thanks for your support. And please like and subscribe and comment below if, if you have any questions or suggestions. And um, I'll be sending out another post um, in the near future. I want to um, try to figure out a way to keep in touch with subscribers. And if um, feel free to, uh, you can go to my, my Facebook site or or my Instagram, um, if you want to message me. If you'd like to be on a mailing list, you can go to my website and subscribe there for a newsletter. I haven't started doing newsletters yet because I don't have any subscribers yet. <laughs> but um, if I see that there is an interest, then I can start doing that. I'm also going to try and start a blog. So as soon as I'm done with the Milan program, then I can kind of get my head organized as to what my regular routine will be on, um, on blog, blog posts on my website, videos, um, newsletters, things like that, and of course, painting. <laughs> so I'm thrilled to be a part of this community, and I, I hope that we can continue to network and help keep each other um, supported through the process of building our art careers. Um, and if you are a collector or if you are an aspiring painter and you've just joined this channel, please be sure to drop us a, a comment and let us know what you're interested in. Uh, let us know um, if you have any questions or if you need guidance in any way. Um, whatever knowledge I have, I'm happy to pass on, but I am just getting my feet wet in the professional end of art. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll give you what I can. And if I don't know, if I don't feel confident in what I have to offer you, I will definitely find a way to connect you with somebody who does. There are so many other artists that I subscribe to on YouTube that are amazing. And I will definitely recommend channels for you if uh, you're struggling with anything in particular. But thanks. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful, joy-filled day. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.